The chair now calls Josiah Neely. Good morning. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, my name is Josiah Neely. I'm the Texas director with the R Street Institute. Uh, thank you very much for having me, chairman, members. Uh, look forward to working with you all. Uh, the R Street Institute, uh, we are a relatively newer organization. We're about six years old, um, uh, nonpartisan, nonprofit uh, research organization, uh, think tank, colloquially as it were, um, that uh, works on a bunch of different issues, insurance, energy, criminal justice is one of our core areas, looking at how to make uh, government more effective uh, and leaner uh, and more limited. Um, w we have a uh, we have folks throughout the states. I'm here. Texas, but we have people in California, Florida, Ohio, Boston, Massachusetts, and of course a DC office. Um, we've been very involved in criminal justice issues for the, uh, since our founding, uh, both at the federal and state level, I can tell you. Uh, and we were involved, of course, uh, with the, the First Step Act, along with Right on Crime and other folks. Uh, and I can tell you that uh, other states uh, look to Texas when it comes to criminal justice reform issues. So uh, Texas has been a leader in criminal justice reform. It's been the, uh, the things that you do here, they are not only important for folks in Texas, but they have spillover effects throughout the nation, uh, so it's, it's very valuable. Um, in my written testimony, uh, I provide kind of an overview of some of the different topics uh, that our criminal justice program covers, some of which are not uh, directly within the purview of the committee, but they uh, relate in terms of uh, reducing the, the jail population. Um, in terms of the uh, priorities, uh, two things I'd like to highlight. First, I want to reiterate what uh, Mr. Levin said about the importance of uh, state jail reform. Uh, I don't have a lot to add to that, but uh, that's clearly an important issue. Um, I'd also want to talk a little bit about the importance of uh, increasing access, greater access to correctional educational programs uh, uh, within the the prison system, particularly uh, post-secondary education courses. Um, you know, our, our view is uh, the ability to incarcerate people is one of the most powerful, it's an awesome power that the state has. It is necessary sometimes for reasons of public safety or uh, justice, uh, but it is, you know, it's costly to the state, it's uh, $20,000 a year per inmate. It, can you know affect families, affects communities. Um, so you definitely want to make sure that when people have served their term, when they get out, they are able to be reintegrated into society. They don't reoffend, uh, and that they also don't become dependent on the state because they can't make a livelihood. Uh, you know, research shows that um, uh, ex uh, offenders who get a job are, I believe, 24% less likely to reoffend, and, you know, they can go on and become productive members of society reintegrated. Uh, unfortunately, uh, only about a third of uh, people who've been, who get released from prison have a job uh, within the year of their release. That's compared to 80% in the general population for the same age range. Uh, so uh, that's a very serious issue. Um, one way uh, uh, to increase the prospects of people to be able to reintegrate into society is through greater uh, ability of them to get education and programs in the prison. Um, there's a, a RAND study uh, from 2015 that said that uh, uh, inmates who – uh, completed a post-secondary degree while they were incarcerated uh, were significantly less likely to reoffend 
once they once they got out and they had much much better outcomes. Um, uh, also, I think uh, a another element is that uh, these programs uh, in the prison can uh, improve public safety within the prison itself because it gives uh, inmates uh, something you know positive, productive, and positive to focus on and to do. Um, uh, so it has it, it has benefits both within the system and without uh, of the system too. So I'm not going to use all my time. Um, if there are any questions or other issues, I'd be happy to talk and work with you going forward. But thank you so much, my friend. Members, any questions for Mr. Neely? Concerns? Thank you so much for uh, folk, your focus on education. Uh, could you get that tweeted and get that emailed <laughs> out so other people can get it too, please? Thank you so Absolutely. much. Have a nice Thank morning. Um, the chair now.